It may look like some sort of gaming room, but this is a serious training centre. These trainees belong to the Ukrainian Armed Forces, undergoing two weeks of training to learn how to fly drones with VR headsets. Munitions are attached later. Basically, you can save one Javelin missile, because uh, it can go as far as Javelin missile. The drone costs approximately $600. Uh, javelin missile costs eighty to $120,000. I ask to come here. Technology moves on, and we have to move with it. The drones are assembled here in Ukraine. The challenge is to put them in the air faster than Russia, which has been catching up, according to the person in charge of this program. Uh, they are trying to uh, copy what we are doing. First it was with commercial drones, now it's FPV drones. Uh, I believe it will get worse and if uh, someone in the government did realize that uh, this technology should be used, they will spend a lot of money, maybe ineffectively, but they will produce a lot of uh, toys. We are short of parts, for example. So Ukraine just sucks everything from all the countries around, uh, all hobbyists parts, everything produced in China is contracted either by us or by Russians. Alexei is in charge of building these kamikaze drones. It takes him about an hour to build one. He's currently working on a solution to get round the countermeasures put in place by Russian forces. They use very powerful frequencies on the ground to jam our drones. All we can do for now is to let the guys get confirmation that in such and such a place there are no countermeasures. Only then do they fly. Once assembled, the drones are then delivered to units. The Special Forces captain is due to receive them today. He says he needs a hundred such kamikaze drones a week for his position.